Hello and welcome to the Pants Cast. Uh, I'm, as always, Pantsless Aaron, and we're gonna play some Payday 2 and talk about video games. Um, Payday 2 just came out not too long ago. Um, in my case, it was a gift from a dear friend. Um, and uh, and uh, I like it, um, but there are some, some problems. Um, <laughs> foremost is like they, they've had like th three huge like gigabyte patches over the last like four days <laughs> so um, don't know necessarily what's going on but let's just say that the the release was not as smooth as they would have liked it to be um, but uh, never mind all that uh, let's say we actually get into the game for a bit uh, this is the crime.net uh, station where you can attempt to take on a job. Uh, as always, playing over the network has its problems. This is one reason why I usually don't like playing online games. Grr. Uh, you'll notice some of them are pro jobs and some are not. Uh, pro jobs mean that you have to, um, you have to complete them on your first try. Uh, if you fail, um... Hey guys, I got C4, so let's, uh, be back at the van at 45 seconds. I'll grab the right room, Shin, you... Okay. Apparently I wasn't allowed to be in that one. My old protection did this much start up. <sighs> Again, just trying to get into a game here. The problem with doing the Ukrainian job um, is that the, there's an achievement for finishing it in under like 35 seconds uh, or something like that. So. Um, and, and the fact that it can be done so fast, and it's also a pro job, and you can do it easily on overkill. Um, uh, these things mean that it's worth a great deal of money and experience, and can be done easily and quickly. So people looking to like swiftly grind their way up uh, we are hitting the Mendoza Oh no. Money. Hell no. <laughs> you are of great. My friends, can you help Black Bounce cash registers in the What the hell? Hmm? Why not? Please this is one that I've never sure. done before. Me, so uh, let's see how well this goes. Some Russian took my four store territory. And I won't store back. I want the money and the show of strength. You go there and hit them hard. Money will come to you when you do. Okie doke. Fair enough. Alright, if I wind up working with bots, oh well. No, the bots are terrible. <laughs> As per kind of the norm. Um, Yeah, uh, the original Payday's bots were terrible, and they have not been improved uh, for Payday 2. They can't, they can't manage even the easiest of objectives. You can't tell them to pick up bags. They won't do anything except fire at uh, policemen and uh, take fire uh, every once in a while. Look, I know Vlad is nuts, but he's got a lot of connections, and I have a good feeling about him having a line on some big jobs down the line. Okay, so you'll notice at the top there's day one, day two, day three, day four, day seven. Um, some jobs take multiple days. So far, the only ones we've seen have been like three day jobs. So, you know, missions will have. Okay. Unfortunately, my microphone's not hooked up. Uh, because if it was, I would tell these guys that I haven't the slightest clue what I'm doing. They have cameras. Take him out. Mask 
up when you're ready to roll. Shut up and get down. Uh, so apparently the idea here in this heist is to steal 15 grand somehow. Uh, I've already stolen three grand. Hopefully that counts. Okay, that's fifteen thousand. I'll get the driver well, to pick you guys up. Well, that was fast. Cops are coming. Coming from this side. Problem solved. I guess we're sticking around. You do have to protect your assets. Oh, Wolf, come with me. Hey, Dallas, come with me. Hey, Jay, come with me. Okay, apparently we're just leaving. Forget the drills. Well, that was an easy one. Come with me. Hey, Shane, follow me. Shane, come with me. Oh, Shane, come with me. Shane, come with me. Oh, Shane, follow me. Hey, Shane, come with me. Oh, dear. Okay, well, you know. Oh, Shane, follow me. Uh, the heist was done, but I guess not now. Uh, I guess Dell has decided to be a prick and not follow the uh, the rest of the gang but teach their own I suppose hey, Dallas, follow me. Hey, come with me. Hey, follow me do to do okay come on, guys. Hey, go hey, follow me anyway so yeah sometimes things go nice and cooperatively and other times they just don't <laughs> this is gonna get annoying real fast. Uh, I don't know how. Hey, hey, on me now. Come on. <laughs> okay. He's kicked. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, sometimes the games go smoothly and everything is as uh, as expected, and sometimes not so much. We're hardly gonna get anything for this. Six grand. Uh. Okay, uh, pick a card, any card. It's kind of a neat feature of uh, Payday. This is how you get your unlocks, is through the... Oh, man. The left hand. Um, so yeah, and speaking of, there is uh, plenty of stuff to unlock. Uh, leave the lobby, because I don't know what's going on. And I want to show you some of the other stuff anyway before we get back into more heists. Um, yes, you. there are a metric ton of things to unlock. Um, I mean, let's just start with your basic weapons. There are, from your, you know, primary weapons, there are nine, 13 possible primary weapons. 
and something like, I think there's more secondary, nope, 13. 13 of each. And each weapon has uh, some modifications that can be put on it. Um, like, uh, here's the, the standard assault rifle uh, barrel extensions, which are, you know, uh, silencers and so forth. The tank. Uh, there are gadgets that can be put on the side, flashlight, you know, laser, uh, extended magazines and whatnot, and the sights, of course. Um, uh, I am told that there is no, there are no, like, proper scopes in the game. Like, there, the, you don't have, like, any, like, decent zooms, uh, on the scopes, which I, 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 I find it hard to believe that that's been left out, but I haven't unlocked enough of the weapons to know for sure. Um, here's, here's my favorite to show you just how many customization options there are. Uh, the shotgun that I bought has barrel extensions, foregrips, gadgets, grips, magazines, sights, stocks, and upper receiver mods. That's a lot of mods for just one of these guns. Now, consider there are 13 primary weapons that you can get and find mods for. It's, um, it's a lot. <laughs> so... Uh, so there's there's a lot of stuff to unlock and and open up. Um, armor is a good one. Uh, you get more armor the higher levels you get, uh, and some require specific skills like this one requires the iron the Iron Man skill, so to speak, Man of Iron. Same deal. Uh, various equipments: the doctor bag, the ammo bag, uh, ECM jammer, which is I think it's new. I don't remember it from the first payday. Uh, trip mines and sentry guns, which I do remember. Uh, you can also have custom masks now, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can buy new masks. I have uh, the Alienware one available. Uh, and uh, Which I just got as, as an unlock. I'm not playing this on an Alienware or anything like that, but... Uh, there's the undead mask and the zombie mask. There's more. Um, I, these are just the ones I, I haven't unlocked yet. Um, you can customize them. Uh, they're a little on the expensive side for customization, but you get to pick a material. Uh, all I have is plastic, but I've seen denim. You can have denim masks. Um, and then a pattern to go on that mask, the puzzle pieces. Uh, there's a, <laughs> a neat little uh, portal reference there. The left hand and Roros. These are just the ones that I've unlocked, and I know there's a ton more. Colors. Now, you get a pattern of two colors. Um, it's possible to get pure colors, like, uh, you know, like a pure blue, like both of those will just be blue, which I'm hoping to get eventually. Um, but for the most part, uh, they're all combinations of two different colors. Uh, and there's plenty of them to unlock as well. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to make a mask right now. Uh, and, of course, you get to choose which, which character you want as your primary for the most part. Um, skills, speaking of unlocks, uh, your skills are as such. Um, you get skill points every time you level up, and uh, you can use them to uh, buy perks that will increase your character's abilities. Um, and then you can ace them, which costs additional points to, to like level up that particular skill to make it stronger. For example, this one gives me additional experience when I complete days and jobs, and when I ace it, the entire crew gets additional experience. So, uh, that's the, there's a bunch of these are neat little perks that I like. For example, um, the Dominator allows you to, con to intimidate, uh, um, like FBI guys and so forth um, and make them uh, give up and if you get the follow-up perk you can convert them to fight for you <laughs> that one's really funny to me I'm like you can actually get them to protect you and you know uh, take out enemies I'm I, 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 I love this idea and I, I can't wait to give it a try um, <laughs> Kilmer nice um, and there's one, I think, I don't know if it's in this... Yep, Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Civilians can hook you up. <laughs> I love that. Um, uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, unlocking a good deal of these. And uh, there are four separate skill trees that you can, that you can uh, try out. And you can respec at any time. You'll get some of your money back, but not all of it. 
uh, every purchase requires both uh, points and money uh, to, to unlock. For example, to buy the Ace version of this, I would need three points and $132,500. Um, which uh, brings up another uh, little gripe I have about the game is that, um, let's say for example, take my uh, my starting pistol here, the Glock. Uh, I have this this uh, silencer equipped. Now, if I were to attempt to remove it, because uh, I, own, I own the silencer, I bought it. So, if I were to attempt to remove it, it says, and I quote, it says, you are about to remove it, it will be placed in inventory. So you think, okay, that's fine. I can just put it back on later, right? Wrong. Wrong. The game doesn't tell you anything about this, but if you take this modification off and try to put it back on again, you'll be charged again. You'll have to buy it again, even though it says it's in your inventory. Like, for example, here it says in stock. Okay, even though it says in stock, it's still going to cost me $118,000 to put this mod on, even though I already own it. I do not understand, except except as a means of forcing players to spend more money, which just irritates me to no end. I'm like, why would you need that? That doesn't make any sense at all. But I, I don't know, maybe they're trying to turn this into just a grind fest, in which case I feel like I should like slap them upside their heads, because it doesn't need to be a grind fest. It really doesn't. Um, the heists are entertaining enough and challenging enough on their own that we don't we don't necessarily need um, this sort of crap, you know. So I don't know. Uh, it just it really irritates me. But that's been that's been we've spent long enough just goofing around here. Uh, let's see here. Very hard. That might be tricky. Overkill. The deposit. Oh God. You do not want to do the deposit. The jewelry store is more... more possible. Mall Crasher! Okay, we'll try this. Okay, the Mall Crasher might be possible with AI. I'm playing offline because... just because the online is... my network is a little unreliable. And, um, you know, the players you play with could similarly be unreliable. And, and I could be seen as unreliable to them. You know, I might screw something up, so... Um, I'm probably gonna screw this up. But this is a fun one, because all he really wants you to do is destroy the place. And, oh, Doctor. <laughs> yep, you heard him right. Vlad is serious. We're going to the mall, we destroy as much as we can. Enough destruction, and this client will rethink his whole stance on protection money. Dirty job, but you like getting dirty, right? You're absolutely right, I do. And rough up whatever you see. Keep civilians out if you can. We don't need unnecessary heat. Unless it's the movie Heat. We need that. That's necessary heat. So, um, the first step is to case the joint, as we are seen here in casing mode. You can put on the mask at any time. Um, but I tend to wait until I've got the lay of the land. Um, you generally want to do this in any heist, but... Um, oh, there's a lot of glass. Look at this. Glass everywhere. Uh, ATMs. Kind of wish I had a saw, but oh well. Can't win them all. There's a guard up ahead. Um, <laughs> the shoe store. Um... Nice bosses. Those will be interesting to destroy later. Um, so there's several stores on the bottom floor, and there's several stores on the top floor, and they all have different things in them. Some of them, some are are less uh, expensive than others. For example, I won't spend much time in the shoe store, besides shooting out the big plate glass windows. But uh, I believe. Somewhere up on the second floor, there's all this fitness equipment. I don't know how much money that's worth, but... Uh, that person's already down. I don't know what scared them. But up here, there's several laptops. It'd be worth some money. Um, uh, a handbag store. Don't know how much that's going to be worth. T-shirts, definitely not. Just going to shoot out the windows and go. Uh, long sleeve suits. Somewhere up here, I believe it's... 
this one jewelry store all right and you can take those jewels with you as extra cash um, but to start us off right uh, I think I'm gonna start from downstairs make sure as few people as possible get out um, and start shooting out the windows let's go All right. Oop. Yep, that was a matter of time. Might be better to use shotgun at this point. Five thousand dollars, guys. Do do. Do to do do to do do do. Can save do? ammo by just fifteen grand, guys. <laughs> You're just butt smashing most of these. I don't know how much those are worth. No safe. Uh oh, cops are here! Hooray! Can't stay any longer. I'll get you an alternative escape. Oh, fantastic. Down you go. Upstairs. <laughs> Huge plate glass windows. <laughs> Screw your laptops. Uh, no safe. And huge plate glass window. Goodbye. Halfway there. It's not bad considering I'm pretty much on my own here. I mean, the, the bots will help, but they're not much help. Ow. Sniper is a problem. Oh, come on. Down you go. Sniper, no sniping. <laughs> I'm like, you shouldn't walk directly in front of me. Uh, still no safe. <laughs> Thousand. Only ten more to go. Hello. <sighs> the unit just freed a civilian. You gotta do something about it. I will take some jewelry. Those look like sniper teams, folks. Careful now. Ah. <sighs> Uh, make sure you grab as much as you can. Forty grand. Like the car should finish that up. Uh, oop. Just come in from the other side. I uh, will take all your jewelry. Oop. 
I am almost out of ammo. That's gonna be a problem. Only ten more to go. Oop, completely out. Uh, throw the bag. See if I can get two bags out. Kind of hard to do when your bot friends won't help carry the bags, but. Ow, ow. Shot Sibby. Kind of amazed she's still alive, to be honest, but. Ah! Now, grabbing a bag. Uh, get it over by the other bag. And stick around over here for cover. Oh, we're ready. As you may be able to tell, I'm playing with a gamepad, so my accuracy is not great. Uh, oop. More bad guys. <clears throat> oh, down you go. What do you mean, get moving? We're waiting for a helicopter, damn it. Probably means a sniper somewhere. <laughs> yeah, the graphics aren't bad. The sound is uh, pretty good as well. Um, the gun sounds are satisfying as hell. Yay! Success. Okay, Let's see what the crazy Russian got in store for us next. Your move is paid off. Fire and glass like music for Vlad. I now protect <laughs> again. And money, money will be good. You have done favor. Spasiba. Yeah, so uh yeah. That's payday in a nutshell. I'll grab a card. Ow! Tar. I keep hoping I'll get the gun mods, but it almost never happens. Yay! Military red dot. Okay. Don't know what gun that's for, but uh, I'll assume it might be interchangeable. I don't know. So, yeah. So that's, that's payday. Um, there were supposed to be, I think it was said that there was supposed to be like 18 different... Um, different heists, and I think, I'm not certain, but I think at this point there's only maybe 13 different ones, and some parts of them are recycled. For example, the bank heist uh, can be played three different ways. Uh, you're either going after, like, cash or gold or, you know, the deposit boxes. I'm sorry, four different ways, because there's, there's one where you're just going in and just taking whatever. Um, but... 
the bank is recycled for at least one other, uh, at least one other heist, the fire starter heist, uh, which, which ends with you going into a bank, uh, stealing, uh, the, um, uh, not stealing, breaking into the vault, taking all the money out, putting it in the middle of the bank, and setting it on fire while recording it, uh, which I thought was an interesting, uh, uh, in stock. Oh, I already had the military red dot. Okay. And I have an extra one now, I guess. Okay. <laughs> not that it matters. If I take it off, I'll probably still have to pay for it. Uh, so, anyway... Uh, so, yeah, so that's, that's payday. Um, I don't know what else to talk about, really. Uh, but I guess since I don't really have anything I'm desperate to buy right now, I'm probably just gonna level up. Or, you know, maybe, maybe I'll wait. Because I want to get that, that ace for equilibrium. Uh, yeah, I'm taking the mastermind, uh, skill tree because, um... I figured it was the one that my friends were least likely to take, um, and I was dead wrong, because all of them, <laughs> all of them took Master... Everybody carries doctor bags. Everybody. I'm like, guys, come on! <laughs> uh, well, that's not entirely true. My buddy, my buddy Matt uh, is, is working on the ghost tree, uh, which is the stealth artist. Um... Which would come in very handy when trying to uh, trying to put together a heist where the alarms don't get set off. And I've actually seen that. I've seen, you know, quote unquote, the perfect heist. Um. Uh. What else can I show you? Okay. Uh. You know what? I'll take you through the safe house. The safe house is pretty much your your first. Uh, it's like the tutorial level almost. Um, I've already been here, so, you know, there's not going to be a ton of content here to see, but, but I'll, I'll take you, take you through, uh, show you what's up. Uh, welcome to the safe house. Okay. Well, to, for starters, generally, you know, when you, when you do the tutorial level, you start out just checking out this, this safe house, which is... In the middle of nowhere. Um, as a matter of fact, it's a, a, a laundry, uh, laundry dry cleaning, uh, which is just a front, of course. Um, but yeah. Uh, so this is your safe house. When the game's, when you first start and you decide to go ahead and check out the safe house, you'll be brought in here, and and then you'll have to put money on the scales to get the uh, to get the downstairs to open, but. Then you get downstairs and things are a little more interesting. For example, you can check out, well, once I have the mask on. Nobody cared who I was till I put on the mask. Uh, check out the cameras. You can do this in, in pretty much any heist where there's a security room, um, which, is, uh, which is pretty neat. Um, and you can, to some degree, aim them. Um, but yeah. So, uh, that's the CrimeNet computer, which allows you to pick your heists and so forth. Uh, this is, uh, the quote-unquote training room, uh, which shows you how to get through locks and that sort of thing. Um, you don't, uh, despite what the training room would have you believe, you cannot pick any lock you want. Um, I believe you need to have a skill for that. I could be mistaken, it's been a while since I've even tried to pick a lock to a door. Um, but for the most part, um, the heavier doors you will have to drill open, like this one. <coughs> or, you can just use the keycard. <laughs> If you manage to find it, uh, sometimes it's sometimes it can be easily found. Other times, not so much. Uh, some locks take longer than others to open, uh, and that's why they have C4 as an option. Um, if you if you have a character who who can carry C4, you can blow open just about anything uh, very very quickly. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, that's how the Ukrainian job can be done in under. 
uh, in under 35 seconds is if you have someone with C4. And unfortunately, that's what uh, that's pretty much what the the, the crime net uh, mission selection thing has become is people asking uh, anyone got C4, blah blah blah, uh, just so they can burn through the Ukrainian job really quick. Uh, some of them just want the achievement; others are just are just trying to 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 you know burn through the grinding as fast as they can. Uh, this is your vault, which so far is not much of a vault. Though, uh, they said, uh, as a matter of fact, let me replay it for you. I think it'll say it again. Oh, maybe not. It's disabled. Um, you could... They said when I first came in here that, that it would be worth my while to come back. Um, so far it hasn't been. All this money on the table here, um, is basically representative of my, my current, uh, my current cash pile. Um, and that is the offshore account money. Um, what the offshore account money actually means, I don't know. Uh, aside uh, aside from just being another irritant, <laughs> because uh, because you uh, you get all this money, like millions of dollars for a particular uh, for a particular heists, and you'll only wind up getting like fifty thousand dollars in spending cash, and the rest goes into your offshore account. Uh, which is great if you're planning for retirement. Uh, it's terrible if you're trying to uh, buy more weapons, get more mods, uh, increase your skills, you know. You're just kind of screwed. Here's your mask area. Pretty self-explanatory. Of course, you can customize masks like you can customize weapons. Mm -hmm. We'll hang all your completed masks right here. Well, you so far I just... Time, I won't be here, but you can always press that button to play a pre-recorded message. Thank you. Shut up. Uh, here's your quote unquote uh, your your shooting shooting range, um, which you can use to practice at first. Uh, and here are the uh, the saves you can practice on if you have the various equipments handy. Uh, <clears throat> For reasons I don't quite understand, you can pick you can pick the lock to safes. If, if the drill is already placed, which I don't quite get, but okay, you know. Uh, don't know what this area is good for, except obviously it's supposed to be some sort of planning area, but, but it serves no purpose in-game. There's a few other cute little notes here, like, uh, this one. Expansion 1. Hmm. I wonder if that comes with DLC. We shall see. But anyway, yeah, Overkill says they have a uh, five five uh, DLC planned. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave. Just showing you around the safe house real quick, and now on to the game. Um, I'm probably gonna gonna suck it up hard here, but what the hey? I've got a line on the jewelry store that's just begging to be hit. I have taken a call from my cook. Three days and a million dollars, good lord. Pro job, fire starter. Ooh. Mm. I would consider that. Uh, trying to find the uh, Ukrainian job if I can. Wait for that to show up. Uh, as you may be able to tell, this all takes place in D.C., supposedly. Um, if there is, like, some grand, like, government heist that you could do, that would be kind of cool. Uh, oh, excuse me. There it is. The Ukrainian job. Uh, I will just start it up, I guess. Okay, so... Uh, the Ukrainian job is a pretty easy one. Let's see how fast I can burn through it. Um, but in the meanwhile, I guess... Uh, I've talked enough about Payday, I think. Um, oh, I should talk about, you know, pre-mission pre stuff. Uh, in the assets, you can look through various documents. Um, 
uh, you can check out what what likely uh, uh, obstacles are going to be in your way. Um, tell you how long you can expect to wait until the safe is picked. Um, even where the switch boxes are for the metal detectors. Um, you can also buy additional advantages. Um, but so far I haven't found that they're really worth it, so to speak. Alright, here we go. Now this, because this is a pro job and it's on very hard difficulty, this is likely to be worth uh, a good deal more experience and money. So, might actually see a level up here, but we'll see. Okay, metal detector in the front is not necessarily always there. Alright, let's roll. Everybody on the ground! Down, everyone. Our hostages will definitely make them have to recall. I see you more time. On the ground! Sirens, I hear them. Cops are on their way. Down. Now. Stay down! Do-do-do! There it is, finally! Yeah, that was fast. Ah! What's your background? We don't want civilian blood in our hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was ridiculously fast. That's what we came for. Those <laughs> jewelry would have been nice. I'm not gonna lie, but there's always another day. I did get a little bit, you know. You, you great people. You 48 great seconds. <laughs> I didn't shoot a single person. Uh, but I got a good deal of experience, so that should help. Ding. Very well done. Very well. And a decent amount of cash, and I'm good. And I'm gonna pick a card. Pick a card. And, oh, the rats! <laughs> and well, cash is always helpful, but not much of much. Anyway, okay. Leave this lobby. I'm done. Uh, yeah, I'm done playing online at least. So, okay. Uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to buy a skill, so let's go ahead and ace that, uh, that pistol skill. Yes, please. Do it up. Aced. Pistol God. Uh, and you can always mix it up. Um, I don't know exactly how it would work, um, per se, but it would, it would probably be possible to have two trees. So you could be a mastermind and an enforcer, or a technician and a ghost, or, you know, whatever you choose to be. Uh, I'm gonna get that. Gonna get that. I, 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 I just always been a you know sort of a pistol whore, I guess. Um, so I guess we'll just run a simple heist while I uh, with bots while I. Uh, while I talk about other things. Uh, what else is there to talk about in the world of games? Uh, oh yeah, I read um, a very, a very disappointing article uh, the other day and it's about how uh, game developers are pretty much uh, you know the people who make the games that we love um, apparently apparently uh, get like death threats from gamers and and I'm like this this just blows my mind like it, it completely blows my mind uh, I can't pick the lock. Um, like, why? Why are gamers threatening, threatening, threatening people's lives? You know, developers' lives, their families. Like, it, it's sickening. Like, you know, people are leaving the industry because of this. Talented people who make fantastic games. And it just, it makes me so sick to my stomach to think that this is gamers. These are gamers who are doing this. Yeah, 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 thermal drill, thermal, thermal drill. Uh, again, can't pick the lock, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, 
Uh, I could case the joint, but there really wouldn't be any. <laughs> there really wouldn't be any benefit to doing so, because honestly, got oh camera. Camera will flip out as soon as it sees me. Now see that that little ring? That is your like that's that's that tells you pretty much how much time you have before someone gets alarmed. Uh, you know the question mark is obviously curiosity, and uh, you know the um, the exclamation right, point is uh, it's on. Basically. So now you you can't pick up the thermal drill without putting the mask on for reasons I don't quite understand, but that's all right. So I'm just going to see if I can't murder a guard or two uh, because they will definitely be alerted now. There he is. Civilians? Okay. Get down. Get down on the ground. I'll start her up. Everybody on the ground. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just really, really disheartened by uh, by the fact that gamers are doing this. It's not right, you know. Oh, don't oh, the fantastic! Seriously? Why did that first one not hit him at all? Okay, everybody get down. I mean, it's just... It's just bizarre that this is even a thing. Like, why would... Why would anyone want to threaten someone's life over over a video game not being perhaps exactly what they wanted? You know, it's, it's, it's just... I can't even... I can't even fathom having that reaction. Seriously. I run out of bullets at the most inopportune times. But I suppose that's my fault for not paying more attention. Oh. Down. Down. I suppose it was a matter of time for them to try and get in here. But guys, guys, no, no. Guard the front. Down you go. Down you go. Alright guys, keep the fire up. <laughs> I mean, we just, we lost Phil Fish. Now, to be fair, I always thought that Phil Fish was kind of an asshole, you know? Just, just the way he, the, the way he was, the way he behaved. He, he, I thought, for, I thought for sure that Phil Fish was, was a douchebag and, and deserved, you know, all the, uh, Deserved all, all the the bad things people Get said down. about him. Cause I mean, I saw his comments. They were they were douchebaggy. Why would you say that? You know. But having having read or seen some of the things that apparently gamers were saying to him, I'm kind of going. You know, maybe maybe he wasn't such a bad guy after. All. Maybe he was just pushed too far. You know. Like, if, if people said enough horrible things to me, uh, you know, I, I don't know how I'd react, per se. <clears throat> I don't, would I be able to keep my cool? I can't say, for certain. Maybe. You heard the man, keep drilling, you piece of shit. Oh! Coxton! I hate it when they get right in my way. Oh. Oh. 
<sighs> anyway. So, so yeah, so I can kind of understand why Philfish left. Like, why he had enough, you know? I mean, he was literally getting, getting shit from everywhere. From gamers, from journalists. Basically from anyone who felt they had... They had a right to threaten him, his family, his future progeny, you know. Ow. Eat it. Ugh. Ugh, guys? Ugh, you bunch of bastards. Ow. Okay, come on, Drill. Come on, Drill. So, yeah, so... I, I think part of the problem is this kind of entitled mentality a lot of, a lot of gamers have now. Oh. They just stepped up their efforts. Stepped up their efforts now? I think they've been stepping them up pretty good so far. <laughs> Alright, finish up. Oh. Come on, guys. Put out my doctor bag and heal up. Seriously? Ow. No. Oh. Okay. Uh. We're just grabbing some bullets. Just grabbing some bullets. <laughs> All right. That's a little better. Down you go. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I it just it just makes me sick. I've 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 tweeted I've tweeted angry things at developers before, sure. Um, but you know what I did afterwards? I apologized immediately, and it wasn't a death threat, not even close. Not even close. It wasn't even remotely anything near a, a death threat. I'm gonna try and get two bags, I think. Because these guys won't carry bags, and it's ridiculous to try and think that you can get more than that with just, just me. And naturally, it's right out front and center. Ow! Damn it! Oh, son of a... Alright. Ow! Ugh. Yeah. So this is what I have to do because they're not smart enough to pick up bags on their own. Ow, ow, go! Alright, cover me guys. Ow, that's not covering me. Cover, 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 cover. Back 
for the other bag. Do do do. Down you go. Now. Uh. Oh crap. <laughs> I almost missed the van. Toss it. <laughs> yeah, we can leave now. Or not. Ow, ow. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave now. Whew. I don't say superb often, but I'm seeing it now. Good work. So yeah. So yeah, just really, really disappointing hearing that gamers are treating people like this. I mean I mean, th these are the people who, who make our games awesome. I mean, the idea of not treating them with respect uh, is completely alien to me. I, I couldn't even... And, and like I said, I have done it before. I, you know, I, I said angry things. You know, I tweeted someone, uh, Randy Pitchford, actually, uh, of uh, Gearbox. I tweeted him angrily when, when Borderlands 2 uh, first started up, and they were just basically like... They were... They were giving golden keys away, you know, via Twitter. And every single one I tried was like expired and I was I was getting I was getting pissed. I was furious. I was like, why why should we have to, you know, get down on bended knee and, you know, basically worship <laughs> these these gearbox employees Twitter's Twitter accounts? Uh, just to get something that, that makes the game marginally less frustrating. Because, I mean, it was. The Borderlands 2 was frustrating as hell. And, uh, you know, but I didn't, I didn't swear at him. You know, I didn't, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't threaten him. I didn't threaten his family. None of that. You know, I, I just basically said, you know, I'm angry that this is the only way we get golden keys, and then, and then they're like, okay, you can follow our Facebook, you know, and we'll occasionally give them out that way, and blah de blah de blah And I was like, okay, so basically you only give them to people who pay more attention to you and follow you, and it's all just in the name of getting more attention and more money, and if if your game was good enough and not, not totally frustrating, then it would earn that money on its own, really. It, it would have. Um... But I'm just a wee bit bitter. Oh, curses! Please be another gun part. Please be another gun part. Yay! Car 4. For a rifle I don't even own. Excellent. <sighs> Sigh. Well, anyway. So, yeah, so... That's all fun and games. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else, really, to talk about. Um, other than it's an exciting time to be an adventure gamer, uh, Tesla Effect will be out within half a year, most likely. Uh, that's, I think they said January. Um, and, um, you know, uh, what, The Raven came out recently. That was really good. Um, and, uh, Gone Home is a first-person adventure. Kind of like Tex Murphy, except this, except it probably doesn't have a serious, you know, humor or, you know, live actors. I know that much for certain. It's all 3D, and um, I don't know if you ever actually meet another human, but you you pretty much just, you know, explore the story of what happened in this house. Um, but yeah, it's a great time to be an adventure gamer, and there's there's great adventure games out there to check out. So if you get a chance, I recommend highly that you do so. But for now, I think that's enough for uh, for this uh, pants cast. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed my you know t horrible payday two playing. <laughs> uh, I hope it hasn't been too bad for you. I actually succeeded more 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 heists than I failed, so I'm I'm happy with that. But <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, so. 
that's all for now. Uh, you guys have fun with whatever games you're playing. Just play your games and enjoy them. Have an excellent, uh, excellent week.